Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Welcome to Sport Fishing on the Fly on the Bench. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be tying you up my Blue Wing Olive Pertagon Nymph, the BWO. This is the pattern I did really well with last year in the, in the Columbia River here. So make sure you have these materials handy before you tie the fly. For hook, I'm using a size 14 mini jig barbless hook by Arex. It's the FW551 of their Freshwater series. For bead, I'm using a slotted tungsten bead in gold. You could use silver or um, even bright yellow or orange. And the size is 764th. The main thread I'm using is pale olive and classic waxed by Semperfly. For the body, I'm using Pertagon Body by Semperfly in translucent brown. The tail, I'm using a speckled Coke de Leon in brown. The collar, I'm using a fluorescent red by Semperfly. You could just use hot orange if you don't have this. And to coat the fly, I'll be using the Reed Zap Super Thin, the new Super Thin formula. As well as for the wing case, I'm going to be using Sally Hanston's Insta Dry in black. So you just go ahead and start your thread behind the bead and I've got the slot at the top that's where you want it to be so I'm just going to build a little dam right at the front here to keep that bead in place. We'll take a few wraps to do that. A couple more. So you can just see I've got that slot right at the top. I've started building my taper. So you just want to work your thread down, uh, making sure to cover the hook. Right down to about halfway between the where the barb would be and the hook point, or where the barb would be. Oh, there's fine. Snip that away. Next, take your Coke de Leon, or you could use a pheasant tail, or any kind of feather you want. I like the Coke de Leon because it's nice and speckled. And these have a, the nymphs have a little bit of speckling to them. So I just want to measure it. And I want to take a little bit more. If you don't pull it off like exactly even, they get really uneven quickly. They can <laughs> they're so tiny. They're tiny, but they're very, very strong. So I've got three to four. I've got four, and you want it about the length of the shank. Not much longer than that. Just take a pinching loop. Top that, and then I like to run my thread underneath the tail. And that just holds them up nicely. And they stay splayed pretty good too when you do that technique. Trim off your excess there. Under the bead. I'm just going to work on my taper a little bit more. Just exactly how I want it. Like so. And now you can take your uh, the Pertagon body. So I've got the translucent brown. I just really like how this looks over the pale olive um, thread. It's very similar to the bluing olive body. I'm just going to double it, double it around my thread. And then just tie it right on top here. And I like to bring it back. So I'm going over the body one more time with the olive. So, now you can just take your Pertagon body and start winding it up the hook. Just be careful around the hook point. Um, it is delicate. Try not to miss too many spaces. You could take three or four pieces too, if it's two is not um, working for you for whatever size you're tying to, if you're tying a bigger size. I did see some big ones in the summertime out in Fernie, like real big. They were like a size 12, huge. 
here they're really tiny like <clears throat> size 14 is about the biggest I would normally time probably in 16 for the river here right now it's very small so I'm just going to tie that off come in and snip that away and now you can take and give it a, a whip finish off your olive thread so grab my whip finisher here and snip it away. And now I'm going to give it a little hot spot. Oops. Just snipping that one sec. I'm going to give it a little hot spot. You could use like bright, bright um, um, chartreuse for this. Would probably be good. I like the orange. It's the actually the fluorescent red, but it looks like orange. The um, Semperfly Classic Waxed. And it really does glow very nicely under the UV light, this color. Just want a tiny little hot spot. I'm just going to turn this so I snip it off right there. And I'm going to go right into the whip finish. somehow got attached to my thread. One sec. Yes, I'm fussy. Otherwise, there we go. Now you can take the UV resin of your choice. I'm using the Raid Zap, the new Super Thin. Uh, I really like this formula. It's my favorite one that I've ever used. These kind of bodies, especially. Just go around it. Here, I'm going to give it two coats. See how that orange shows up under the UV light. Just one more coat. I'm just taking a blob of the Sally Hansen's Insta Dry in black. You could use black UV resin if that's what you have. Um, I really like this stuff. It dries super fast, so I don't leave the lid off. I just take a blob and put it on a piece of paper or whatever and use my bodkin to, or a toothpick or something to put the wing case on. So just one little, little black wing case on there. And that should dry fairly quickly. And that's it. My BWO Pertagon Nymph did really well with last year. I'm going to be going out there ho hopefully today and, and trying it out again. It's about the season. I see the blooming olives are out on the river. Thanks for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care, everyone. Conserve the waters and tight lines.